the diet that changed my freaking life. That actually helped me to break free from the restrictive, crazy diet cycle that pretty much kept me hating my body for a good 23 years of my life. So this video is for you if you are feeling stuck, if you are feeling frustrated, if you feel like you have tried every single diet on the planet, if you feel like maybe you've tried calories and macro tracking but you didn't quite get it and it like didn't work for you, and you just feel like you need a glimmer of hope. And perhaps I'm also gonna leave you with a new strategy that you're going to try. So if you haven't guessed it yet, the diet, which is not really a diet because it's more of a nutrition lifestyle, well, for me it is at least, is calorie and macro tracking. So I'm really excited about this because I just have seen the power, not only in my own life, but in so many of the girls that I have coached. I've had almost 10,000, actually over 10,000 women that have gone through like my Lean Body Lab program, which teaches the science of calorie and macro tracking. And I have seen what a massive impact this has had on ladies that have 80 kilos to lose, ladies that have five kilos to lose, ladies that have dieted their entire lives. Ladies that have not had a slice of bread for years in the fear of it making them fat. So let me rewind to just give you some highlights, more like low lights of where my dieting started. So I was about 13 years old. I was pretty overweight. I think about 30 kilos overweight. And my sister and I were in it together. If you follow my sister online, you'll know her as well. She's also got an awesome Insta profile. And so my sister and I were around, I was 13, she was 15. And my dad said to us one day, you girls are seriously overweight. And like, we always loved our food. And my mom is an amazing cook, but like really home style food, like lasagnas, mac and cheese, hot chips. She would make like giant batches of pancakes. And I think that she, in her, like she has a super like crazy metabolism. She's always exercised religiously and like she just has no, has never had a problem with food. And so all she wanted was her kids to be like healthy and well fed. And I think we just got a huge appetite. And then the older we got, we kind of also started then eating foods that maybe weren't so nutritious and they were also super calorie dense. So anyway, long story short, from when I was 13, I was pretty much on a diet. And let me tell you, if you think you've tried it all, girl, I have tried it all. Like the number of times I went to the library to like go to the, the diet section and just look, this was like, I guess the internet was definitely around. Jeez, I'm not that old, I'm like 32. But like, I used to remember going to the library and then trying to go and look for like a meal plan, like some like, I don't know, the Ducan diet. Then it was the lemonade diet. Then it was keto, then it was paleo. What, what is this South African version of paleo? Um, what is it called? Banting. Honestly, I tried everything and legit, I, I just put on weight. Because what I would do is I would start this new diet. I would think, okay, like this is going to be the key that's gonna unlock everything for me. And then the weekend rolled around and your girl just lost it all. And then the diet was the problem. Like it was like, if I could just find the right diet, all my problems would go away. Meanwhile, it was just a lot of bad habits that were just keeping me stuck. And it was the restriction. And all the diets that I chose, it was never like a balanced thing. Like the more extreme it looked, the better. The And was so keen on those. Like lemonade for breakfast and lunch, yes. This looks amazing. Um, and of course that kept me stuck for a long time. About seven years ago, I would say, I was introduced to calorie and macro tracking. Now let me say, first off, it's not for everyone because it can become restrictive, just like anything else that you do to an extreme. But for me, it was the most eye-opening, game-changing way to look at food and to start really understanding nutrition and then to put that into practice in my life in a way that wasn't restrictive, in a way that I was like, 
what the hell's balls have I been doing for so long? And of course, off the bat, like I still had a lot of restrictive ideas and behaviors from my dieting history. So it wasn't like as soon as I learned about calorie and macro tracking, like everything else was like gone. So it was definitely a process. And like anything that you start, like when you start driving a car, you're like, what the hell am I doing? I'm ever gonna be able to do this. Like it can also seem like a lot. It actually is simple, but putting it into practice takes time and getting to know like the calorie and macro language and understanding food, it takes a little while. Um, but once you get it, shit sticks. Never eat if I wanted to get lean and that is, one of the reasons why it is so freaking epic. So again, it's not for everyone, but I wanted to share the five reasons why I absolutely love calorie and macro tracking. And when anyone, if it's at a dinner party, if it's someone new that I meet and they're like, geez, I'm really struggling with my nutrition. I'm really struggling with my diet. I just can't lose weight. I'm like, if there's one thing that you do, go and understand calories and macros. And once you understand that, it's like you have a new pair of glasses that you can put on and you look at food in an entirely new way. So I wanted to highlight the five reasons why I love calorie and macro tracking, why it can set you free, help you break free of the diet binge cycle, and maybe these are the reasons, if you haven't yet tried it, tried it or you've given up on it, that you're gonna give it another go. Here we go. Okay, so the first reason why I love it is that there is legit one rule. One tiny rule, which is calories in versus calories out, okay? So it's not like you can only eat almonds, but if they've been de-shelled at 4 p.m. and like so many of these diets have these crazy restrictions and so many rules that you have to try and remember and you're always confused, can I have it, can I not have it? If you want to lose fat, you need to eat less calories than you're burning. It's that simple. So no matter what, like this principle is never overruled. Like if you had to just walk away from this video and understand that, track your calories, consume less calories than you're burning. And I just wanna take a moment, if you don't understand, that a lot of people will be like, Ange, but my watches are only burn 500 calories. So let me, while I have a moment, your body burns calories existing. If you were lying in a bed, in a coma, your body would burn energy. And that is almost, I think it's 70% of your daily energy expenditure is just to keep this body alive. Breathing, heart beating, whatever. If you were lying down, that's how many calories you would burn. Then your actual activity, of course, burns calories, moving around throughout the day, fidgeting, blah, blah, blah. And the food that you're eating, that takes energy, energy to digest. So it's not just the calories you're burning on your silly fitness watch. So reason number one is I'm gonna wanna, I wanna try and just sum this video up so I don't wanna make it too long. So I love it because there's one rule. Make sure you balance your calories in versus calories out. Okay, let's talk about macros. So macros is carbohydrates, protein, and fats. When you start tracking your calories and your macros, it helps you to actually eat a balanced diet. So you're not just living off carbs or living off fat or living off protein. It encourages you to have a great ratio of the three important macronutrients and each one of them play a vital role in your body actually functioning optimally. Secondly, low calorie foods. So if you are trying to follow a low calorie diet, i.e. to lose fat, which is why most of us are on a diet, right? Low calorie foods are generally whole foods. So that's fruit, that's veggies, that's lean proteins. So in a way, it almost like, it guides your food choices because you're like, geez, I wanna get the most bang for my budget. So let me get foods that are lower in calories, which are generally your whole foods. So we're winning, we're eating a more balanced diet, we're having protein, carbs, and fats, and we're choosing more whole foods. The third reason why I love it is because it gives you so much flexibility. That's why I say it's not a diet, because when you think of a diet, it it's generally like restriction. What should I cut out in, in order to lose fat? And when it comes to tracking your calories, if you can fit that baby into your budget, you can have it, which is a mind bleep for most people because they're like, 
I can never have chocolate and lose weight. I can never have wine and lose weight. I can never, and, and the list carries on of all these things we can't have. When you realize actually what counts is my total daily calories at the end of the day when my head hits the pillow, that means I can plan in my pizza, I can plan in my wine, I can plan in my chocolate. And obviously it doesn't mean you're gonna just have junk food all day because remember, we wanna make that budget go really far. But it also means that on a Friday night, if I want a freaking pizza and a glass of wine, you can have it and you're not giving up your goals. So the flexibility is just amazing. And there's also like, it's not a set thing. Like these are the foods that you have to eat. The foods that you love, you can fit into your plan. And that is the beauty of it because you could like non breads and I like, I don't know, pitas. So you have your non breads. I have my, we both happy. You see, I'm not forcing you to eat the pitas. You can eat your non breads. You know what I'm saying? So there's so much flexibility. And when you're eating the foods that you actually love, you don't feel like you're on a diet. It's not like, God darn it. When is this thing going to be over? It's like, okay, cool. Eating the foods I like. This is pretty epic. I can stay consistent on this. So number three, flexibility. Number four is you can do it anywhere, anytime, any place, any country. It's like, if you can read the nutritional label of the food, you can track the food that you're eating, or you can even just use Google. But it's like, it doesn't matter if you're on holiday, if you're going to a party, if you, and that's why it is so integrative in life. Like you can do it wherever you go. It's not like, okay, I'm on keto now. I hope that they have some butter balls at this party. Like you can make any food work and you can make any situation work. So you never have that anxiety like, oh my word, now I have to go out for dinner with these people. What restaurant do they want to go to? They want to go to Italian. They don't have keto food. You can just make it work wherever you go. And is that not a lifestyle, right? It has to be fitting into your lifestyle no matter where you're at, no matter what you're doing, no matter what you're doing. You get my point, you catch my drift. So the number four reason why I love it is it can serve you anywhere for life. And the fifth reason why I love it so much is that I feel like it's so empowering because you understand food in a new way. You look at food in a new light and you can easily make choices. Like as soon as you know the nutritional value of something, you can decide, hey, do I wanna fit that into my calories for today? Oh, actually that's pretty high cal. Like I don't really think that it's worth that much energy. And I love the budget analogy because it just makes so much sense and it's so easy to understand. And then you just feel like, geez, I'm so in control of this. And what also makes you feel empowered is that you have like the power to almost get predictable results because when you are focusing on the things that count for fat loss, which is your energy in versus energy out, that means that you are responsible for your goals. I always say to people like, okay, so let's say you're following paleo and then you don't get any results. What are you gonna do tomorrow? Are you gonna be more paleo than you were yesterday? Like, what are we doing? The, in this way, it's something that's measurable. So it's, some, it's basically math. So if you feel like, geez, I'm on 1,900 calories and I'm not losing fat, you know what to do. You will just cut those calories down a bit. And then you see how, well, you see what I mean? So you just feel like you're really in control. I think even what is fab is, let's say you go on holiday, you go cray cray, you eat to your heart's desire, you feel like it's all good. When I come back, I just track my calories, plan out my meals, all that stuff. And I'm gonna lose it again because you actually have the knowledge and understand how fat loss works. And just one more level to that is once you understand food in that way, you also become way more intuitive about your choices. Like back in the day when I used to diet, like I would still grab things and I would think, oh, you know, I don't know, this is healthy. So probably this is good for fat loss. And I would eat like two bags of nuts. Now I'm like just based on reading nutritional labels, understanding the energy in different foods, understanding what macros are in various foods. I'm also making intuitive choices where I'm like, and, and again, if you're going on holiday, you don't have to calorie and macro track, but you'll just use that education that you have. It's like a new lens that you can just put on and you look at things a little bit differently and those will guide your choices to more intuitively. So that brings us to the last and final one of the five reasons why macro and calorie tracking is epic 
and why this was really the diet and the lifestyle that helped me to change not only my body, but my life and my relationship with food. So if you're struggling, um, and of course, again, disclaimer, if you are someone with an eating disorder past, um, this may not be a good fit for you because it is, you know, really effective and it, it could become something that's too restrictive um, or get you into a restrictive mindset. So um, it may not be for everyone, but if you are struggling and you're feeling frustrated and you're not sure where to turn, I would really recommend checking out like an app like MyFitnessPal that can help get you started. I also have incredible programs like the Lean Body Lab program that will teach you the foundations of calorie and macro tracking. So if you want some help on that, go and check it out. But I hope that this video inspired you and maybe just sparked a new seed that if you've tried it before, maybe you'll go ahead and try it again, or maybe you'll just start reading those nutritional labels and understanding food a little bit better. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please hit it with a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you back here next week.